Hi everyone, this is Michelle and Kwame. We wanted to share a story about when both Cameron and Lindsay took us out individually before we got married to share some biblical wisdom. The things that they taught us are things that we still apply to this day and we are so thankful for them. Yeah, so I mean, he may not be here with us in the physical, but his legacy obviously lives on through all of us. Love you, Cam. Love you, Cam. I know in my heart that Cameron, you believed that Jesus was the way, the truth, and the life, and that nobody would come to him except that they go through the Father. And I'm thankful that that belief is true in your life today. To the spot in the car that you never seen like Double cup, swisher full of purple, see me lean like Always on that gold rush, you know I'm a fiend, right? I just described every song on the freaking radio Destroy the youth, but stack that paper, guys, huh? Way to go, flexing so they know we gonna see them when they ride through Theme music, I ain't hating, this is what we ride to In the hood, teach them how to be fools And the kids in the suburbs, how to be cool I don't blame them, no, I know it's deep when they rap I can't just do 
a song and fix it, it's much deeper than that. On the heart of man is evil and the world will make it better. They got chains all on their chest, but deep down you know that they beggars. We despise wisdom, glorify lies, leading us to hell, but we turn that track on high. Tell them, every time I pull up, they be like, hey, shawty, what you on? Play that song and so you know that one, now that's my favorite song. Every time I pull up, every time I pull up, every time I pull up, every time I pull up. Every time I pull up, they be like, hey, shawty, what you on? Play that song and so you know that one, now that's my favorite song. Every time I pull up, every time I pull up. Really gonna miss you, Cameron. We love you. You have no idea how much you've changed our lives. We love you, Lindsay, Elise, and Landon. We miss you, Cameron. We're gonna be praying for you guys. Um, your friendship means everything to us. Cameron, I'm really gonna miss you pushing them dates on me every time I show up for prayer night. Love you guys from the Bonners. Me too, do, but I'm through with being a fool, trying to prove I had it made. That's why I'm on the block. Yeah, that's why my car gon' knock. Man, cause you gon' get this work, whether you like it or not. You can mock. We ain't shook no earthquake, just after shot. Spit these power lines, they shot. Every time I pull up, stop. Every time I pull up, they be like, hey, shout it, what you on? Play that so and so, you know that one, now that's my favorite song. Every time I pull up, 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 every time I pull up. Every time I pull up, they be like, hey, shout it, what you on? Play that so and so, you know that one, now that's my favorite song. Every time I pull up, every time I pull up, every time I pull up, every time I pull up. Got it, knock it, right, pulling up my pocket. My little cousin right right, right now with a probation violation in his pocket. I can smell the purple at all. See the hate in their eyes. No, they just feel chopped up. That's why we're seeing hope. To our brother Cameron, we are grateful for your example and your walk with Christ, which was never about religion, but about a relationship. Cameron, you truly lived out 1 John 4, 7 through 9. Dear friends, let us love one another, for love comes from God. Everyone who loves has been born of God and knows God. Whoever does not love does not know God, because God is love. This is how God showed his love among us. He sent this one and only son into the world that we might live through him. Thank you, Cameron, for your example and the legacy you're leaving for your children and all that know you. Love, Rochelle and Elsie, your sisters. Hey Kim, DZ, it's your number one BZ. This is Delano, man. Can we go way back, bro? You're the friend I asked God for, and we shared a hall of life's major events together. I can't tell you how much I appreciate the wisdom you shared, our discussions of life and God's word, and your friendship. But I know this isn't goodbye, it's see you later. And we were more than just the closest of friends. Like we always used to sing, we're brothers who are brothers, and we have our own show. I know you remember that funny thing, but anyway, I love you. You're my family. Your family is my family. My family is your family, and nothing could ever change that. So from my family to yours, we love you, Cameron. We miss you. Can't wait to see you again. Love Chastity, Mom DeBro, Pops DeBro, and Layla DeBro. Now I find I'm wanting Jesus. Used to want to roll mad deep with a street clip. Want to hold the heat on the low like a secret. God's spirit penetrated my soul on the sneak tip. Took control, now I'm in the soul like a leaflet. Give me that fire, give me that flame. Give me that flesh wind, give me that rain. Give me that freedom, you can have the change. Give me that peace.
Hey Cam, this is Gam. I love and miss you, brother. Hey Cameron, it's Katie. Hey. Not sure what life will look at, like without you. We have so many plans. Um, we love you, brother. We can't wait to see you again. Cameron, it's hard to know what to do without your spiritual guidance constantly in our lives. But we'll try and we'll take everything that you gave us and we'll use it. And we'll try to use it the best that we can to advance the kingdom of God. And I know that was your goal while you were here. And I just, I miss you, brother. And I'll always have a place in my heart for you. But he's our reward Gotta be perfect It can't be three out of four If you're sick of falling short Then he got a cure Give me that Cure that door That hero Give me that grace To never chase the De Niro How much glory Should you give your boy zero That will cause beef With the lamb like a yiddo Give me that day We choose you over shining Truth over rhyming Virtue over diamonds Give me some change Sometimes I do need the dough And give me some pain Something I do need Need to grow. Give me what I won't ask for. Don't give me what I seek when I creep. I'm a sheep. Give me dope pasture. Give me life just like you intended. It's like to see you raised like the day you ascended. Give me that fire. Give me that flame. Give me that fresh wind. Give me that rain. Give me that freedom. You can have the chance. And she asked me how I said, shh. I'ma just do it. You've been dating that girl for like huh, six years, though. You live in my faith, though. Oh, you live in my fear, though. You gotta be faithful, homie. You gotta be amazing. Put a ring on that girl like my homie. I'll need to lay like Fridays and Easter. Tell everybody that we will just do it. Okay, okay. I see what you're doing, and that don't excite me. Get out of the way, I'm not asking politely. I'm so affiliated, they know who the squad be. We do what we want, they too scared to try it, so I'ma just do it.
try not to rock the boat. I got a quote, I don't wanna rock the boat, I wanna sing. I'ma just do it. I see what you're doing and that don't excite me. Get out of the way, I'm not asking politely. I'm so affiliated, I'm so affiliated, they know who the squad be. We do what we want, they too scared to try it, so I'ma just do it. First uh, John 5, 4 says, For everyone who has been born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that has overcome the world, our faith. And another verse says, First John 5, 5, Who is it that overcomes the world except the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? And so what's powerful about overcoming is, in overcoming, sometimes you will face defeats in your life. You'll, you'll face areas that you have fallen short. And I think this is sometimes where we also do a disservice in church is putting out an image that we don't have any faults and that we do everything right and everything goes well. Um, and I think that causes other people to stumble too, because just like yeah. Joe Dustin was talking about earlier with Job or profitable faith, it gives the impression that if you're going through a trial, that you're the only one. There's something off about you. But the Bible says that every believer is going to face trials and tribulation. It's just, it's part of it. So, but the thing of it is, is how we're rooted in God's word and, and walking in obedience will determine how we overcome. And a lot of times people don't over, over don't overcome because they don't have enough of God's word at work in their life to overcome situations. And a lot of times, anytime you find yourself falling into sin, it's because you're not overcoming by the word of God. And so it's a default. And so it's just like anything, if you're trying to eat better, do anything better, once you get to that point of frustration, if you don't get some new information or renew your mind, you're gonna find yourself going back into the old pattern. And so that's what's so, so crucial about being in God's word and praying for understanding is now when you're presented with certain situations, and I've seen this even, even with work, with customers, you know, certain situ situations will happen, but because of the word of God, I know exactly what I'm dealing with. <laughs> and I know, I know exactly the problems that we're going to face. And so what's cool about it is it's not about a magic mystical thing. It's just one of those things is when you're sitting at the feet of Jesus often, you understand how Jesus would deal with this. If we're not at his feet enough, we're going to deal with it the way I feel like it should be done. Man. You know, that's good. It's another, it another Cameron quote. We need to <laughs> hashtag <laughs> write that one right there, buddy. Hey, you know, what I love in that video, it says the word is to transform us from the inside out. And I just said it before we even came up here, but it's like one of my quotes from my favorite philosophers. When you read the word, the word is reading you. Cameron, Cameron Dodu. No, that's just a tease. I'm just messing around, but it's very true what you're saying. And what he said in that is absolutely true. When you're reading the word, the word is examining and reading you, examining your heart. And that's what it boils down to. So from us, from, you know, if we want to walk in, in the blessing of the Lord, that's what Job, you know, God restored everything to even greater than he had to begin with in his life. Once his heart was right before the Lord, once he got things in proper order, and uh, I'll just read that real quick. Um, and actually, in Job 42, verse 9 through 12, um, Job 42, 9 through 12. Um, and this is all his friends. I don't know how to say their names, but um, all his friends went and did as the Lord commanded them. For the Lord had accepted Job. And the Lord restored Job's losses when he prayed for his friends. Indeed, the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had before. Interesting. Interesting. And the Lord restored Job's losses when. What? When he prayed for his friends. And that's a whole message. That's a whole other about message. Bitterness, but that's you know? interesting. Interesting. Yeah. He prayed for his friends that were rebuking him for 37 chapters that he was mad at, going back and forth, fighting with, saying, I'm justified, I'm justified. And they're calling him out on his stuff. And he finally, 
they're the ones that actually, in the end, actually helped him get his heart right before the Lord visited him. So it's just interesting. Then all his brothers and all his sisters and all that had been, all his acquaintances before, came to him and ate food with him in his house. And they consoled him and they comforted him for his... Av- for, so he basically, because everything was restored. And so it's just, it's just interesting. Um, you know, later on, it says Job died old and full of all his days. So he reached all of his days and died full of old age. So I just found that very interesting. Um, Let's go. You know, I never paid attention make. to that part. That's sticking out. <laughs> that stuck out of me this morning. That's good. Yeah. Because they were battling back and forth. So you want to sum us up? You want to sum us up? You got anything else? That's it. If anyone has any questions, you know, we can answer those or try to answer those questions. But uh, just be encouraged in your faith and um, start somewhere, but take it serious. And that's that's one thing that's powerful is you can come to church, you know, for years on end. But um, there's a guy that me and my wife have listened to, and he talks about progressive extremism. And it's pretty interesting. And he basically says the best way to become radical is to start small in something and allow that to progress. And this is what's interesting is when we want to make a change, we, we change everything all at once and then we get overwhelmed and we don't do anything. But what's interesting, if you think of it, it's kind of the way in reverse or in a sense how sin works. If you think about it, people start to dabble in sin a little bit and then they start to acquire a, a taste for something and it goes further and further until yeah. at least that they're in destruction. Yeah. What could that same amount of energy do on the right things, the things of God, taking an hour or 15 minutes a day of prayer or reading God's word and progressing that way, what it can what it can actually evolve into. And so a lot of times, you know, what we have a desire for, anything that's ungodly, is because we lack we don't we don't have the fullness of what God's word teaches. And so it's just like when anything you're you're starving and you go out and you eat some candy or you eat some junk to just fill yourself. But when you really get the proper nutrition over time, you'll realize the difference of how things make you feel. And that's one thing that I've always seen after a fast is, you know, when you're eating everything, you don't really notice it. Yeah. When you're eating the right things and then you start to have a sustainable energy, the moment you eat that thing that used to give you the high, it runs you way down. You know, and so sometimes spiritually, we just have to recalibrate ourselves constantly and reassess the direction that we're going in. I think that's the biggest thing that's made a difference in my life. Or one of the things is just constantly making these course corrections when I feel myself getting off base. Absolutely. Because you're going to you're going to notice when you're drifting into sin or where your your attention is drawn to. And then there's little things that will happen if you listen you'll get back on track. Yeah. That's very good. in the ocean floor run to his arms like an open door god the father sent the sons of men can come and be free and gotta run no That's more come done. to me all who are weary with heavy burdens i'll give you rest separating you from your sin as far as the east is from the he west said. thrown in a sea of forgetfulness what sin what offense and when them waves come crashing in i'll calm the winds in your defense so whatever said. it is that you've done he put that punishment on his son his you'll son. never come under his condemnation conquer sin and satan and his accusations so dry your eyes lift up your head his peace, his peace, and he took our guilt on a cross instead. Took our place, and now we embrace a clean slate with the eyes of faith. We know, we know. unfailing love, unfailing love. Everybody's it's not too late, start over.